All right. Hello, students. This is Mr. Moon. Uh, it's been a week, pretty much, since we've last spoke, or you've, you've heard from me. Uh, so far, you should have turned in the performance task source notes from last week, this past Sunday, at, by midnight, um, because you're not going to have any frame of reference for what we're doing uh, today, asynchronously, um, or tomorrow, or the rest of the time. So if you have not done that yet, you need to get that done immediately. All right? So, now, today, so, today's an asynchronous day. Sophomores are taking English 2 star test, and I'm somewhere in the building doing hall monitoring. So, uh, today, you know, whether wh whatever time you're playing this video, you know, in the morning, one o'clock in the afternoon, you took a, a nice uh, half day sleep, whatever, I get it. I was 15 once, I would have done the same thing. Anyway, so we are going to start on task A of the performance task, and I'm going to walk you through it. So during this process, right now, what I want you to do is I want you to take out a notebook or um, go off to the side um, and open up a, uh, um, I'm playing this through a YouTube video probably, um, open up a Google document to take notes in. All right. And as I'm going through this, you can pause it and uh, write down something whenever you need to or go back or whatever. You know, it's a video. So you can go back to wherever I said something to clarify or whatever. All right. But I'm going to go ahead and get into it. So I'm going to walk you through performance task part A and uh, B too. Um, and then Friday, I'm going to get y'all up to speed on uh, part C. So I'm going to get to you through part A and B today. So I'm gonna walk, we're going to start with part A. All right. So if you remember, our prompt for the performance tasks is to what extent was the development of the of classical trade networks across the Mediterranean Sea similar to the development of the classical Silk Roads. All right, so a um, little note here, um, I, I was seeing that some of you had issues with understanding to what extent. So it's like saying, you know, to what extent um, am I a good athlete? To what extent am I a good volleyball player, a good basketball player? Like, where do I fall on that level? Um, and this is basically saying, like, to what extent are the Mediterranean Sea trade and the classical Silk Roads trade similar in the way they developed and the way they started and, you know, carried out their existence? So that's what the prompt is asking. Now, here are three things I want you to think about and reflect on these in uh, either your, your notebook paper you're writing on or in your Google document. So, and they are right here on the page. So what are some key words from this prompt? I already identified one, extent. So think about that. To what extent, you know, like I just said, were they similar or different? What is the topic of this prompt? Reflect on that. What is the topic of this prompt? What are some key things in here that seem to be the topic of this prompt? And finally, what are you being asked to write about? So take a moment, pause the video, and uh, try to answer those three questions. All right, we're going to move on. All right, now, two more to think about. What do you already know about this topic? What have you learned in class so far? We did do a lesson last week over uh, this, this little TED Talk video. Um, so you might pull from that, or you might know something from, you know, middle school, or something you read, or maybe you watched a YouTube video once and you know something about it already. So think about that and answer that question. Um, and let's list some prior knowledge that you might have about this topic. It can be anything you know.
just go ahead and write that down in either your notebook or your uh, Google document right now. Okay, once you've done that, that concludes task A. So task A is pretty easy. It's just really like basic boilerplate stuff. But now we're gonna move on to task B. Now task B is gonna require you to open College Board. So you're gonna to need to go into your College Board account. Um, so take a moment to do that. Now, if you are having trouble getting into your College Board account, this is what you're going to do. This is going to be the alternative. You're going to go into Google Classroom. And I should have, if I have any, I'm going to do it right now. Um, I will have posted the performance task document in the Google Classroom. So there it is, it's posted for second period. So you're gonna go in here. So we just did task A. Now you're going to, we're gonna walk through task B to that together. Now if you're doing this, um, if you're not in College Board doing this, if you can't get into College Board for whatever reason, and the people who can, keep, go ahead and sign in, just don't bother us listening to me, I'm gonna go on, I'm gonna get onto that in just a moment. Um, go down to where task B starts, so here are the sources. And then we just did task A. This is task A. Um, and this, don't, don't bother with this. Um, but here's task B. So here's what you're gonna do if you're not using College Board and you're using this document. You're gonna go ahead, you can grab the tab. Go ahead and up here and grab the tab. And you can move it around. And go over to here, pop it like that. Then open up. Make sure it pops to the side right there to where you can see the whole thing. Then you're going to open up a Google document on the other window. Google Docs. Boom. Boom. Headshot. Boom. Blank document. So I went to Google Documents and I clicked a blank document. Go ahead and turn it up to 12 point font. Title it uh, performance task, just performance task. You're gonna do, uh, put it in bold. So here's a little trick, press the control button. So CTRL, hold that down, then press uh, B and you get bold font. So. Uh, go ahead and uh, perform uh, task B. And task B um, has us unique characteristics of Mediterranean trade networks. Unique characteristics of the Brazil All right, and then characteristics of both trade networks had in common. All right, so that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go ahead and list for task B. All right, there's one more part. Task B. One. This is number one for task C. So if you're doing this on the Google document, try to copy it down just like how I have it. And then number two is write two strong claims that support your choice above. Include these claims 
when you write your thesis will also serve as topic sentences for your first two body paragraphs. All right, so you should have copied that down just like that. So you're gonna answer in each of these plots. Like it shows on this side. So you're gonna answer each of those. All right. All right, so moving on to the people. Sorry, I took a minute to explain that. Uh, all right, so if you can sign into College Board and the people doing it on a Google document that can't get into College Board, just follow along with me. All right. All right, so you're going to go into my course section once you've logged into College Board. And you're going to go up to the top bar, that blue bar at the top, kind of it's it's kind of like this bar at the top right here but um a little bigger. Um you know where you usually go to uh open the learning checkpoints, you're going to go up there and you're going to find the performance task. It should be classical period, you know, online classical period performance task. Once you open that up, it should look like this. So College Board has provided us an online version for us to do. So you don't have to work with Cami and Doc Hub and all that. You can just uh, um, uh, write it automatically into here and I can just look at it um, once you finish it. All right, so here are the sources. Then I go up here, I click Task A and it pops up Task A for me but uh, you should have already done task A, so I'm not gonna have you, um, well, here, here's what you're gonna do. So you should have written down task A in a Google Doc, right? So go ahead and copy and paste it into number one and number two right here. So take a moment to do that. So pause the video and do that for me, all right? So you should have copy and pasted your answers from the slideshow I just did into uh, um, one and two right here for source A. Now we're not worrying about analyze the documents. You guys already did this for the source notes you turned in um, over Sunday, all right? All right, so now we're gonna move on to task B, which is build the thesis from evidence. So right now what you're gonna do is you're going to tell me unique characteristics of the Mediterranean trade networks and unique characteristics of the Silk Roads trade networks and characteristics both trade networks had in common. So things that are different about each of them and then something that is similar about both of them. Now you may have, based on you know what you found, you may have more things that are similar about them or more things that are common. You might find a lot of similarities about them or you might find a lot of things to be different about them. Whichever way you take it, that's fine. You should be able to add something, uh, a little bit of something in each of those though. All right. So go ahead and do this part of task B, so number one. So pause it and do that real quick. All right, so you should have answered number one. Now, now here down to number two, plan your thesis. So select the position below that you believe has the strongest evidence to support it. So which one are you gonna choose, A or B? 
There's no right answer. It's whatever you believe to be true, and you're going to take that position and hold it for the performance task. So the development of Mediterranean trade networks and the Silk Roads in the classical period were very similar. You may think that. Or you may think that the development of Mediterranean trade networks and the Silk Roads in the classical period were very different. Whichever way you take it is fine. Now, once you pick A or B, you're going to write two strong claims that support your choice above. So you're going to write two strong points that support whether you think they're similar or different. So in the blank right here, go ahead and do that. All right, so we're going to skip number three. Don't worry about number three. Um, so what you need to do today is you need to, you should have completed task A, um, excluding three with the exception of three. Don't worry about three. Number three right here. Just do number one and two for task A. Then you're going to do task B, number one and two. You're going to tell me the... Uh, unique characteristics and then the char characteristics they have in common. Then you're going to pick your thesis statement, whether you think they're similar or different. Then you're going to write two strong claims that support whether they're similar or different. And that's what you're going to do today. So to recap, Just to recap everything we did, he uh, completed task A, So, completed task A together, opened up College Board or a Google document to begin the performance task and began working on task B. But all right, uh, that is all for today. We're going to uh, jump into task C tomorrow. And uh, yeah, so make sure you complete task A and B um, today before we move on to task C tomorrow. All right, that's all for me. Um, please send me a remind message if you have any questions. Um, and yeah, have a nice rest of your day. Bye.